And now it's time for my Swift review. But not this Swift. It's the Runcam Swift. So as you can see, this Swift is actually an FPV camera. And it's a Sony Super HAD CCD 600 TV line camera with 5 to 17 volts. Some of you might have also seen videos uh, comparing it to the Fox Ear camera right here. And I gotta admit, they are very similar. There's the run cam and there's the, uh, the Fox Ear. And um, hey, I don't know, they do look very much alike, but there is a difference on the back when it comes to the plugs because the uh, sorry about all the fumbling but yeah this one actually has two separate plugs one for the OSD controls and then one for your FPV and this only has one plug so I kinda like the way these are separated other than that they look very similar let's take the lens cap off so there you go so in case somebody asks, I just put the Fox Ear camera that I mentioned here so you can look at the label on that. And you can see it's about the same features, 5 to 22 volts on this one, 5 to 17 on the run cam. Uh, the lenses are the same, uh, 2.8 millimeter and uh, 600 TV line. So very, very similar in the way they're set up. So I've got it mounted on my pop wing with one of the little brackets that came with it. I'll take it off here and show you all the parts. You alright John? <laughs> so the camera just comes off, it has two little pegs and uh, then it has two screws on each side. You can do a lot of things with this camera. So what I did was I screwed their little bracket down to a little plywood jig I made that goes underneath the velcro strap on my plane and that holds it down pretty good. But you could also do the same thing by uh, mounting it upside down on a quadcopter and have the camera mounted upside down. Well, the camera wouldn't be upside down, but the bracket would. And then you could tilt the camera like this up and down to get that special angle that you want. Now also in the pack you get some other hardware here, and you've probably seen this in some other videos, but it has an extra back. In case you don't want this back with these two little brackets, you can take the, that back off. It also has a hickey that goes around the uh, lens. You can go right around the lens screw, about like that. And then it's also a pivot type, and you can mount it on this little plate here. Again, you could mount the plate upside down and the camera could swivel. That's the idea anyway. There is uh, separate cables that come with it, which is kind of nice because you can get your menus on this separate cable here. And uh, if you want to put this on your aircraft, you could just plug it in the hole on the back for it. But see, there's actually two plugs, so you can get the two cables on there if you want to. And there's also a little FPV cable here. If uh, This will come in handy, I think, for me. Because I can just plug that in and then run the other connectors to my transmitter. So uh, let's go ahead and plug it back on the monitor cable here. And now let's put on the menu cable. This is the menu cable right here with the button. So that goes into the second plug right here. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Mm -hmm. There it is. There, now they're both in. Now let's go back to the monitor. I'll go ahead and plug in the battery. And we'll see if the menus work. I'm going to set up the Runcam Swift with these camera settings that I got from Bonafide Pirate. I've kind of rearranged them in a different order, but they're the same settings. And then I'll go ahead and do the same for the Fox here. HS1177. Got the lens exposure. Go in there and I'm going to set the shutter speed to auto. Brightness is supposed to be 55 and DWDR is on. And then you can turn it on and then enter into that and set the level to 63. Then return. 
return. Okay, now we'll go down to white balance, have that set on ATW1, your choice on that one. Backlight off, day night auto. Don't go into DPC unless you want to do the calibration thing, or you have to put the lens cap on. Okay, now the special. I've got the cam title on. End and out. Motion off, privacy off, park line off, image adjust. 2DNR should be on. Contrast should be 140 and sharpness 29. Display should be on LCD. And then if you go into the display, you should set, uh, let's see, set the gamut of 55, head level to 17, and color gain to 200. And then return. Return. Back and all the way out, back to the setup menu. And then exit. So that's it. And you can do the same thing to the Fox here HS 1177s. So I went ahead and focused up the uh, the run cam Swift with my little focus chart. You can see it's aimed at it right here. And uh, adjusted it and I found that made a huge difference. Apparently they're not uh, apparently they're not adjusted right from the factory. So you may have to check it. Now if I bring it over here, just lay it in front of the screwdriver. Let's put it back in front of the screwdriver here. Now, let's see. Get it right there. I think you can see now that that screwdriver is in focus. It's focused there and you can see stuff in the background is in focus. So now it's very comparable to the Fox Ear camera. I think that's all it was. You just got to watch the focus and get it set right. But I think the two cameras are very similar. Now back to the Fox Ear camera aiming at the chart. And here's what it looks like. And to me it looks identical now to the Run Cam. So I think the Run Cam Swift and the Fox Ear are now both in focus and they both look equally good. So I've gone ahead and put a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads here on the run cam so that I can uh, keep that from moving again and getting out of focus. Now you might want to put the Loctite on the top instead of the bottom if you plan on using one of these hangers that came with the kit to hang it off your mini quad. But if you're not, it doesn't matter really where you put the Loctite. So let's take the run cam Swift outside and test it on this pop wing. Now this pop wing has a, a B rotor flight controller on the bottom right here for auto leveling and it also has an OSD so we'll be able to see that OSD while we're testing it. Uh, and then after I test the run cam Swift, I'll go ahead and test the, uh, the Fox EHS 1177 and just do a comparison. I'll put them up on the screen side by side so you can see the difference. Of course they won't be both on the plane at the same time so I'll make two flights and uh, that way I can put them side by side and you can see what they look like. So here are the two cameras. You can see the Run Cam Swift is on the left and the Fox Ear HS 1177 on the right and uh, when I was in there doing the settings I put those labels on the bottom right for the cameras so that we can distinguish between them. Now uh, they have the same settings. I went through all those settings that uh, I got from Bonafide Pirate which he claims are really the ideal settings for these cameras. So they're identical. So it should be a good comparison between the two. Now these flights weren't made exactly at the same time but they're very close. I just took a few minutes to change out the cameras uh, between flights. So even though they're not exactly the same time of day, they're you know within 15 minutes of each other, something like that. 
and uh, the lighting conditions are pretty much identical. You'll see the clouds look a little different, but it's pretty much the same percentage of uh, clouds to sky, and uh, that'll give you a good performance comparison. I thought the uh, Runcam Swift really had a sharp picture. Of course, I went and focused it on the bench just to make sure because I wanted to make sure that both of them had a good focus. Uh, otherwise, the comparison would be kind of useless. So, uh, I like both of them. Uh, I can't really make up my mind which is better. I think you just got to decide price-wise and maybe the, the way the cables and brackets are configured, but there's not a whole lot of difference between them. I was really happy with the video. It was really clear and when I was flying I, I was amazed. I could really see so good. Uh, it was almost like having 720p or something that looked so good. But it's only 640 by 480 with these cameras of course. They're, they're basically just security cameras uh, used for FPV. So they're low resolution but a uh, very sharp picture and this of course is affected by the DVR so even though it's been recorded on a DVR it still maintained a very good crispness. Uh, so there you go. You can make up your, your own mind about it. So if you're interested in purchasing a Runcam Swift I'll put a link to the product and pricing under the video. So that's it for now. We'll see you later. Take your